and welcome to Real Ale of Britain. Folks, tonight I've got a beer for you. It was purchased from the Grumpy Goat uh, Ale and Cheese Store in Reading. And it's for the Colonel Brewery and it's their table beer. Coming in at 3.1% ABV. Um, really looking forward to trying this as I really do like uh, Colonel Brewery beers. This is the first one I'll have had in bottle. Um, the rest of the beers have either had... No, actually all have been keg. Um, this one, the price is not at the bottom, I think it was around... Two ninety five, so the Colonel Brewery table beer three point one percent ABV. This is a pale ale, and the bottle says that it's brewed with mosaic hops, one of my favourite hops. So as always, BB Barfly. Okay, uh, look at that for smokiness, absolutely unreal, folks. And um, this is bottle conditioned, it's straight in with the pour. So this beer pours with medium carbonation and it's pouring a wonderful, wonderful um, deep yellow colour with a tint of orange to it. Um, it's got a one finger head which is pure white in colour. Look at that folks. Um, you can see just at the top it's starting to go just a little bit cloudy. That's some of the, s the sediment which has just um, went in. That doesn't bother me as I think it actually adds more to the flavour. So as you can see the carbonation streaming up that glass. Look at that. Fantastic. So let's go straight in with the nose. Oh, the first thing is you're getting these big massive peach notes. It's like um, the white flesh peaches. There's grapefruit. There's some like sourdough bread. You're also picking up a little bit of pineapple. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Um, right, let's go straight in with the flavour. Cheers. Okay. <clears throat> the first thing you get is you get that big peachy note. And then that starts to slowly disappear. Um, and you pick up very, very light um, malt backbone on it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Morris Hotter um, malts which have been used. Um, you're also picking up a little bit of lemon, uh, and maybe that's coming also from the yeast. Um, but overall, uh, very, very smooth. The carbonation as well is spot on. The, uh, the mouthful on the beer is very very light and um, there is a nice hop um, punch to it but 3.1 percent you know this is definitely a beer you could session as much as it is a nice light beer um, and very very smooth the hop uh, flavor disappears very very quickly and then it becomes a little bit bland what you are picking up um, is a little bit of wheat and it's leaving a light oily residue in the inside of the palate. Um, the water is, is, you know, it's so, so fresh as well. Um, I'm also starting to pick up a little bit of white grape. But the first thing you get is that massive... Uh, peachy notes a little bit of grapefruit and what is good is the bitterness it's not overpowering it is just right I could see this is the type of beer you want to drink and um, when you come home from work uh, especially during the summer you know nice and cold crack it open very very good folks what's the finish like in this beer the beer has a big punch of hops which then um, uh, start to disappear with a light lemon and grapefruit bitterness. What do I give the Colonel Brewery for their table beer? A 3.1% ABV. Folks, this to me is a decent beer. You know, 3.1%. I would like it more hoppier. Um, but for me, it's a, it's a 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10. That's really Little Britain doing a review on the Colonel Breweries.
Table Beer, a 3.1% APV. Cheers, Slamakara.